going to give you five reasons you should not homeschool your children. First of all, you're not smart enough to homeschool your children. Look, you had 13 years of government funded public education that has left you too ill-equipped to be able to pass on that knowledge to your children. Maybe you have a degree, but you're still not quite capable of homeschooling your children because, you know, you need that pretty piece of paper that says you've passed these tests that says you're qualified by the state in order to educate your children. This one's kind of gets a lot of news lately, but you should not homeschool your kids if you care about their safety. I mean, who is going to love and take care of your kids more than, you know, a teacher that has 25, 30, maybe even 40 kids that she's got to look after in all of their uh, issues. And it's not like people go into schools these days and, and just start shooting kids. I mean, okay, maybe Columbine was just this one weird instant, but it's not like it's just this trending thing that people just decide they want to do. I mean, do you really want to, I mean, it's how real world is it just to keep your kids home all day? Because it's not like when you're homeschooling, you're going to go out constantly to, to co-ops and to the store and to, and to restaurants and to, into parks and all the, all these places, you know? And, uh, I mean, predators, I mean, they background check these teachers, right? It's not like there's just letting predators get in there, like uh, convincing their teenagers that they um, need to sleep with them. I mean, come on, your kids are gonna be safe. So if you care about safety, um, yeah. I mean, and you can just, you know what? Purchase them one of those bulletproof backpacks and I'm sure it'll be just fine. Another reason that you should not homeschool your children is for socialization. I mean, where else will your kids get a chance to spend uh, day after day for six hours confined to one building, um, most of the time in a classroom with their same age peers, with just that one teacher telling them what they need to do and just telling them to shut up because she's got to teach them and then, and then to wait to talk, you know, in the hall or, or at lunch or until it's a group activity. Where else will you, um, I mean, you can't get that when you're homeschooling. You got to go out and like interact with people or you're just home all day doing whatever you want to do. I mean, you're just stuck with your kids or they're stuck with their parents all day long. Oh, that doesn't sound good for those kids. They got to be with, um, kids the same age. I mean, when they go to co-ops, they're, they're mixed with kids of all different ages. That's like not, that's not normal because I mean, in the real world, think about it. Where else in the real world will you be all day long with the same people, the exact same age of you, edges you for 13 years, unless you move, you know, and that, uh, you got to learn to, uh, that part of that socialization is learning how to deal with with mean people. I mean, you've got to learn how to deal with those bullies that you're just stuck around that are in your classroom because you can't just leave and go away or something. I mean, it's it's not like a job where if you're being mistreated, you just, you, you leave the job, you, you quit or something like that. I mean, school's got to prepare you for, to dealing with those bullies. That's so valuable to socialization. Uh, I mean, without those uh, interactions on group projects, you know, when you got that one person that doesn't do anything and you got to do all the work, I mean, that's real life where you're in a job where there's that one person that's a slacker that doesn't do anything. They, yeah, they might've been that same slacker in school that didn't do anything, but you know, you're prepared for it, right? And, um, yeah, I mean, you got to interact with, uh, strangers all the time and it's not like homeschoolers ever get out to where they're just meeting random people all the time and, and, and strangers that they don't know how to how to respond they just you know they don't they don't know how to talk to uh, to other kids they're just super weird um and I mean I know we got weird kids in public schools but that's probably just a just a 
Luke or, or something, you know. Uh, yeah, so uh, don't homeschool your kids um, if you want to socialize the right way. If you love government-run programs, don't homeschool your kids. And we know how efficient our government is at running all these programs. Look at the VA. We know how efficient they are at taking care of the sick and disabled veterans. And uh, I mean, look at how great they've taken care of the social security issue. That's probably one of the greatest Ponzi schemes that's ever been made and all the bureaucracy and government programs. I mean, they just couldn't run without those bureaucracies for every dollar you pay 25 cents is finally getting to that uh, person in poverty that needs uh, some extra help. And schools just by far one of the best government programs. That's why our literacy rate is as low and has declined the way it has since it's been first government schools have been first um, have implemented and uh, and think about how much um, money that they they get. I mean spending uh, on, on the cost of education has just kept going up and up and up and we're just turning out some of just the smartest kids these days, right? And the last reason that you should not homeschool your children is if you want them involved in activities. Where else can they go uh, learn to be a, a cheerleader or play sports or even play a musical instrument? I don't know. Are there private places like that exist that you can go get that done? I mean, band. I was, a, I was in marching band. I loved it. And that clarinet that I haven't picked up since 2005. It's not like... um homeschool bands or orchestras exist or you can go get a private tutor to teach you to play the piano or something. That's crazy. And then um, the activities involving field trips. If you're okay, if you're going to homeschool your kids, you're going to have to take them on a field trip minimum once a month. I mean, there's some people that do it like weekly. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of activities you got to plan to do. Where's when you're in school, I mean, one field trip once a year, how great it is. You get to get that sack lunch, get on that bus, you drive 45 minutes, you're there for those three hours where you're just rushed in to try to get through that museum. Or maybe it's a really cool place like a pumpkin patch if you're in kindergarten for your field trip. You know, field trips, that's just such a vital important activity to, uh, to being, to being a kid. And um, then think about school dances. I mean, those awkward middle school dances that we just will never forget where you're spent half the time in the bathroom with your best friend because the guy that you came with is bawling his eyes out because you broke up with him. And graduation. Do homeschoolers actually graduate? Maybe they do, I'm not sure. But I mean, that's such an important part of uh, when we look in our past, it was that one final great moment of, moment of graduation after these 13 years. And we're graduating with these 300 other kids that we just forget about or we didn't even know they existed to begin with. And that speech that that valid Victorian gave, you know, uh, that was so impactful for the rest of your life that you just you never forget stuff like that uh those activities are just so important to to kids um you can't have a proper education to learn to to read write do math and in in science without those activities so please for the sake of your children don't homeschool